Welcome back to the virtual canvas. I'm Harish Tahir and uh, today I'll be uh, telling you about the water shader as it's been asked by one of my subscriber. He asked about a particular water shader which uh, I did quite some time ago and um, I think it's uh, yeah, uh, this one. You can see the uh, water in it. So uh, the subscriber name is uh, dash am so he asked me get that uh, how I made the water shader so basically it's the default Unreal engine uh, water which I use so it's the default shader so uh, let's start this is the scene which I created uh, for one of my tutorials so before starting it what you have to do is just go to the settings and plugins and then here just search water and enable it and after enabling it the Unreal will uh, ask you to restart then just restart it and after restarting your uh, project Unreal Engine and then go to your level open it and uh, after opening it what you have to do just uh, go here on in the, in the place actor step and just write water uh, water and uh, I used uh, a water body leg in that project so just drag and drop it and uh, it will just take a little bit of time then uh, to create the water shader yeah, I see uh, you can see that it have already created the water shader let me just move this uh, so let me reduce it. I think I should make it 0.5, 0.5, So just to uh, showcase, mm -hmm. ah, it's too low. I guess I should make it more. Yeah, 0.5 and better. So you can see here uh, it's the water. Um, just ignore these uh, shadows. Uh, so uh, we can change the color and everything for this uh, for this water. Uh, let me just remove these foliages a little bit so that uh, there should be no confusion in it. Um, Selecting these, uh, uh, the shadow is making things a little bit confusing. So, so here's our uh, water. So what you can do with this water is, uh, if the water is too wavy, you just have to click the water and go uh, here. Uh, you will see this water waves asset reference, and here we can see the Gerstner uh, waves lake. We can change it. Uh, what we can just uh, click it and choose the Gerstner waves, and after that you will see the waves. Uh, you can go in there and it will give you some settings and you can change it according to your needs so i will just half it the max wavelength and uh, i go to the amplitude make it half too then you will see uh, i think i should i just messed things up a little bit yeah so make it 6000 again and so you can reduce more to see the effects yeah so uh, just you can play with the settings and you will get what you want uh, if you want the water not to move that much that you just play on with some settings then you will get the your desired results so anyways uh, we were talking about the materials uh, shaders for this uh, water so once you select this water you then go down and in the water material just double click it 
you will see this uh, uh, material instance so you can change pretty much uh, everything in it if you want to increase the normals you can increase the normal here see uh, just increase the normals and everything and uh, if you want to scale the water I mean the you will see the effect here if I will just increase it see the scale is quite big now so let me make it 256 so it's quite small now uh, so the main thing which I uh, did with that watershed is, the, is these values the absorption and the scattering so you can change uh, these you know the color of it using these uh, many times uh, many people ask me about how I change the color and how I made it look so bright so I use these settings the absorption and the scattering you can see uh, if you want to make just uh, a kind of a lake water so you can make it too you can make an uh, ocean type of water uh, by changing the colors and uh, playing with the Gessner's wave uh, uh, values so these are the things which you can just play around with them and you can get the desired results so this is pretty much uh, what I did for that shader I just played around with just this absorption and the scattering values and uh, with the Gerstner's wave amplitude and uh, all the other settings to, ma to make my uh, water, water still um, thank you very much and uh, thank you uh, one of my subscriber Dash M just asked me to uh, how I made this shader so I didn't make it. It's uh, basically the default Unreal Engine shader. I just tweak the settings uh, of this material instance. So thank you guys, and thank you uh, Dash M for asking this question. And uh, please uh, like and share my videos and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. Bye.